Fast and Furious has always been that movie that you can watch from anywhere in the world and feel like you belong in Toretto's backyard at that barbecue table. Obviously, the biggest setback is the loss of my brother in the middle of filming. I felt like my brother was ripped away from life. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm, uh, if I'm ever going to be able to articulate it right, but it is clearly the thing that's a been the biggest tragedy in my life and the most life-altering uh, moment. Paul's absence is felt every single day in my life because he was such a huge presence. And I also think that's true of for a lot of people. And so I love the fact that Brian's still alive within the universe and that we get to honor him and remember him. And I love the, that the fans worldwide get to watch the films and go, oh my gosh, that's Brian's skyline. And I think it's a beautiful way to remember him. So, so we have that, which is really nice. Ironically, uh, for me, when people ask about the memories, um, my memories aren't just the ones that you see on film because everything behind the scenes contributes to what you see on film. I'll never forget being in an airport in Mexico. We just flew down there for the MTV spring break thing. The movie hadn't come out yet. Paul and I were sitting on the floor with our bags to the side about to board a commercial flight back home. I remember him leaning over to me and saying, take all this in. And I said, what? And he said, take in the fact that people are walking over our legs, almost kicking our bags, and not paying any attention to us. I said, why? And he said, because after this film comes out, there too will go our anonymity. I think we got really lucky with John Cena. As the world knows, I'm a multicultural movie star, which means you could have cast anyone to be my brother. I remember the day one of the other producers said, you know, John Cena's always wanted to be a part of this franchise. Would you like to meet him? And I said, yeah, have him come into the Dom Shrine, where I go into that Dom state of mind months before I go to film, I try to block out all of my life, and I try to meditate on on who Dom is. And he comes into the shrine, and that day, if you go back to my Instagram and you read the caption, it reads, thank you, Pablo. And the reason why is because I had felt that Pablo had relieved my anxiety about the casting and casted John Cena as Jacob. The world changes. Wir haben uns auch verändert. Es gibt Momente, die uns trennen. Aber am Ende kommen wir immer wieder zusammen. Du bist vielleicht mein Bruder, aber niemals Familie.